So, you've been using WordQ to make predictions of words, to perhaps read back words or sentences, or maybe even to read a large portion of text. But what's this topic bar all about? Within WordQ, you can highlight particular words based on their topics for prediction as well as speech. What you need to do, however, is to create a topic list. The following video will show you how to do that. The first step is for you as the teacher to log in and then click on options. You want to go to my words. It's a new topic that we want to create, so we're going to click on the topics tab and create a new topic. I'm going to create a new topic for medieval times. I now need to create a list of all of the words relating to medieval times. And then add each word. Obviously within the creation of this list you want to ensure that everything is spelled correctly. When you're finished, in order to keep this word list for your user, you could just click close. However, we want the entire class to be able to access this word list. In order to do so, I need to click export and then save it. Your best bet is to save on the teacher drive in the for students out folder. If I do that here, I can create a new folder called Word Banks. And save it. Students would now repeat the process when they log in with their user. They would click Options, My Words, Topics, but then they are going to click Import. They could import any of the pre-created lists, but likely they want to go to the For Students folder, Out, Word Banks, and choose the one that you just created. That will add those words forever to their user profile. Hopefully this has been helpful, and I hope you've been enjoying WordCube.